Digestive system. The digestive system is a group of organs working together to convert food into energy and basic nutrients to feed the entire body. Food passes through a long tube inside the body known as the alimentary canal or gastrointestinal tract, GI tract. Overview. The GI tract is made up of the oral cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. In addition to the GI tract, there are several important accessory organs that help your body digest food, but do not have food pass through them. The accessory organs of the digestive system include the teeth, tongue, salivary glands, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Together, a combination of nerves, hormones, bacteria, blood, and the organs of the digestive system complete the complex task of digesting the foods and liquids a person consumes each day. Function. How it works. Each part of your digestive system helps to move food and liquid through your GI tract, break food and liquid into smaller parts, or both. Once foods are broken into small enough parts, your body can absorb and move the nutrients to where they are needed. Your large intestine absorbs water, and the waste products of digestion become stool. Nerves and hormones help control the digestive process. The process, food moves through your GI tract by a process called peristalsis. The large hollow organs of your GI tract contain a layer of muscle that enables their walls to move. The movement pushes food and liquid through your GI tract and mixes the contents within each organ. The muscle behind the food contracts and squeezes the food forward, while the muscle in front of the food relaxes to allow the food to move. Mouth. Food starts to move through your GI tract when you eat. When you swallow, your tongue pushes the food into your throat. A small flap of tissue, called the epiglottis, folds over your windpipe to prevent choking, and the food passes into your esophagus. Lower esophageal sphincter, LES. When food reaches the end of your esophagus, a ring-like muscle called lower esophageal sphincter relaxes and lets food pass into your stomach. This sphincter usually stays closed to keep what's in your stomach from flowing back into your esophagus. Stomach. After food enters your stomach, the stomach muscles mix the food and liquid with digestive juices. The stomach slowly empties its contents, called chyme, into your small intestine. Small intestine. The muscles of the small intestine mix food with digestive juices from the pancreas, liver, and intestine and push the mixture forward for further digestion. The walls of the small intestine absorb water and the digested nutrients into your bloodstream. As peristalsis continues, the waste products of the digestive process move into the large intestine. Large intestine. Waste products from the digestive process include undigested parts of food, fluid, and older cells from the lining of your GI tract. The large intestine absorbs water and changes the waste from liquid into stool. Peristalsis helps move the stool into your rectum. Rectum. The lower end of your large intestine. The rectum stores stool until it pushes stool out of your anus during a bowel movement. Digestion. As food moves through your GI tract, your digestive organs break the food into smaller parts using motion such as chewing, squeezing, and mixing, and digestive juices, such as stomach acid, bile, and enzymes. Mouth. The digestive process starts in your mouth when you chew. Your salivary glands make saliva, a digestive juice, which moistens food so it moves more easily through your esophagus into your stomach. Saliva also has an enzyme that begins to break down starches in your food. Esophagus. After you swallow, peristalsis pushes the food down your esophagus into your stomach. Stomach. Glands in your stomach lining make stomach acid and enzymes that break down food. Muscles of your stomach mix the food with these digestive juices. Pancreas. Your pancreas makes a digestive juice that has enzymes that break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The pancreas delivers the digestive juice to the small intestine through small tubes called ducts. Liver. Your liver makes a digestive juice called bile that helps digest fat and some vitamins. Bile ducts carry bile from your liver to your gallbladder for storage or to the small intestine for use. Gallbladder. Your gallbladder stores bile between meals. When you eat, your gallbladder squeezes bile through the bile ducts into your small intestine. 
Small intestine. Your small intestine makes digestive juice, which mixes with bile and pancreatic juice to complete the breakdown of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Bacteria in your small intestine make some of the enzymes you need to digest carbohydrates. Your small intestine moves water from your bloodstream into your GI tract to help break down food, and it also absorbs water with other nutrients. Large intestine. Bacteria in your large intestine help break down remaining nutrients and make vitamin K. Waste products of digestion, including parts of food that are still too large, become stool. Once digested, the small intestine absorbs most of the nutrients in your food, and your circulatory system passes them on to other parts of your body to store or use. Special cells help absorbed nutrients cross the intestinal lining into your bloodstream. Your blood carries simple sugars, amino acids, glycerol, and some vitamins and salts to the liver. Your liver stores, processes, and delivers nutrients to the rest of your body when needed. The lymph system, a network of vessels that carries white blood cells and a fluid called lymph throughout your body to fight infection, absorbs fatty acids and vitamins. Your body uses sugars, amino acids, fatty acids, glycerol to build substances you need for energy, growth, and cell repair. Esophagus. Gallbladder. Small intestine. Liver. Large intestine. Esophagus. Liver. Small intestine. Duodenum. Enzyme. Bile duct. Salivary glands. These are proteins that help speed up metabolism. Enzyme. They lubricate your mouth, help you swallow, aid in digestion, and help protect your teeth against harmful bacteria. Salivary glands. 
Stomach lining. Gallbladder. Bile duct. Duodenum. Enzyme. Small intestine. Stomach lining. Stomach lining. Esophagus. Gallbladder. Enzyme. Salivary glands. Large intestine. Small intestine. Bile duct. Liver. Duodenum. Surefire method. Barium swallow test. Antacid medication. Run some tests. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Strain your neck. Wedge pillow. Gastroenterology. Esophageal manometry. Box spring. Bouts of heartburn. Outpatient test. Surefire method. Barium swallow test. Antacid medication. Run some tests. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Strain your neck. Wedge pillow. Gastroenterology. Esophageal manometry. Box spring. Bouts of heartburn. Outpatient test. Surefire method. Barium swallow test. Antacid medication. Run some tests. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. Strain your neck. Wedge pillow. Gastroenterology. Esophageal manometry. Box spring. Bouts of heartburn. Outpatient test. <laughs>